What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. The most recent picture of Nick Walker posted by his coach Matt Jensen is taken in the same spot as it was taken by the legend Jay Cutler during his prep for Mr. Olympia 2009. These were taken three weeks before that Olympia when Jay Cutler delivered one of the most dominating performances in Mr. Olympia history. The famous quad storm that we all remember as one of the most legendary moments also happened that same year. Nick Walker is going into his second Olympia with that same confidence. He only has one outcome in his mind right now and that's winning the Olympia. And if we look back at the history of bodybuilding, Nick might be in a better spot than Jay Cutler when he started his Olympia prep. Jay was 8th in 2000 and made such significant improvements that he plays runner-up the next year. Nick Walker was 5th last year, so it isn't unrealistic for him to believe that he can win this year. The latest update of Andrea Peresti is actually shocking, considering how huge he looks four days out of the Olympia. This picture and the other picture that was posted by Rafael Brandao were taken in the same spot in the Dragon Lairs gym. And they are taken through the mirror. And when you take a picture that way, it seems a little stretched. Andrea Peresti does not have a great set of legs, but here they look pretty damn good. I think we can all agree that he won't be in the conversation for top 10. In fact, if he places anywhere between 12th to 15th, that will be a great result for him. I think 2023 is gonna be a good year for him after he has a chance of training his legs for an entire year. For the people who do not know, he had multiple quad years a few years ago that hindered him from training his legs at full intensity. Keon Pearson has finally got some workouts in under his coach Patrick. He is such a wild card in any show that he enters. But if I am being honest, most of us are still a little skeptical whether he will bring the conditioning or not. And by conditioning, I mean something similar to the likes of Kamal or Sean. He will obviously be a lot better than last year's Olympia, which was like the worst showing of his career. The 212 title is wide open for grabs this year. And when there is no defending champion, there is a level playing field. A defending champion is always favored. So if Keon wants to win the Olympia and retire early, 2022 might be the perfect year to do just that. Theo Laguerrier is chasing that see through scan. As he goes through the final workouts, before heading into his first ever Olympia. He won Europa Pro to earn his Olympia qualification, although he already had enough points. I see him as a great prospect for open bodybuilding in class. Just look at the texture of his skin during his pose down with Brett Wilkin two weeks ago. And we have seen this trend from Theo throughout the year when he is compared. He brought very good conditioning in all the shows that he entered. This year is a warm up. Next year, Theo will set up some expectations. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.